Hi everyone and welcome back to Norwich and the Norfolk Broads. Um, I've been doing some commissions this afternoon, um, so I had a spare canvas and I've had something in the back of my mind for a while about just doing something fairly straightforward. Um, so I've got a 32 by 12 inch canvas, half black, half white, or well, not half and half, but you know it's poured that way. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and just use black and white, maybe one other colour, um, and see how it go as we go along with it, uh, see what feel I can get, and see if it works. It may not even work. If um, if, it, if you're watching this, well, I'm happy with it. If not, well, I don't know what's happened, but we'll see. So, as I say, white, black, um, don't worry about the little drips because the white's going to come into the black at some point anyway. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to go for it uh, and see how it works. Help if your nose is clean. So there we go. So there we go. So now I'm going to blow the colours and see what happens. Um, if you watch my videos before, if I blow the white with the black, it'll move, push the white through it. If I push the black into the white, it's going to push the black through it. So it's going to be a bit of an experiment here and see what happens.
that's not bad. Um, I'm still not convinced so I'm going to leave it black and white, but I don't know. We'll see how we go. So now the straw.
It's really funny when you're doing this because I'm thinking to myself, should I put a bit of colour in? Well, I'm going to put some colour. And I'm thinking, what are they thinking on the other side of this? And I'm thinking, you should put some colour in. I'm not sure. I quite like it. Um, I'm going to stick to it because it was something I started to do. And I think... Um, I suppose if you were to do these and somebody liked them and somebody wanted one but they had another colour in the, the house, maybe a blue, you could put maybe a touch of turquoise somewhere in it, just a couple, maybe maybe even just one, um, or a magenta. Um, it could work again if it was to do it with the black and white and to put gold and metallics in it. I think that would be quite nice. I kind of really like the um, the black and white feel of it. Everybody that watches my videos or looks at my paintings, they could probably think that you know there's always quite a lot of colour in it. And this is completely the other way. Um, I'm not going to do too much more to this because um, it could spoil it and I think I'm quite happy with it. So I mean, that's quite straightforward really. It's a 32 inch canvas, black and white, half and half, colours blown out, lines of colours in and then drops of colour into uh, the white in to make the colours at the bottom. Um, one of the things I will say um, I really love the fact that people try these paintings and they send me their pictures and show me what, what's happened and ask me questions. I really like it. But one of the things that seems to be um, common in the pictures that are coming to me and when people are saying to me, I'm not sure about the consistency, I think it's too thin or it's too thick. I think one of the things that's quite crucial, and this isn't me just bumping up my videos and asking you to watch my videos because at the end of the day, you'll all watch what you want and do what you want to do. And it's all about creating your own style anyway. But if you want to do this style of floral paintings, it's, I think it's crucial, and this is only my opinion, that you watch my second video which I did on mixing and consistency. Because the consistency of the paint to hold the shapes and push the colours, or the black and whites, is, is quite crucial. And I think I'll repeat it again. What I do is I do two parts of floor troll, one part of acrylic paint, and one part, just over one part, of distilled water and I mix that mix and then at the end of it 
I let it settle and then I go back to it and stir it and I get the feel of how I want. So what, what you're really looking for is when you pour the paint onto the canvas that it's not too watery, it's not a Dutch pour, it kind of leaves a trail. And what you're looking for is that thickness of the paint enough so that when you push a colour in or a black and white into the colour, it holds the shape. And it won't always do it. What I always do is I come back in about an hour's time um, and probably a couple of times through the night as well. Because what will happen is sometimes the cut the paint that will settle back into itself, as you can see some of these are doing already. And I'll come back and I'll get the straw and then I'll just push the colours back out. Or sometimes when it's settled you can see another shape or something that you'd like to pull out. Don't play around with it too much, um, but I think that's you know that's a good thing to do because they do come back in themselves with the paint. And it is quite nice to then just come back out. And push the shapes. And I think that is it. What I'm going to do now is just torch it. I'm, I'm not one for torching too much. But I do like to torch it a little bit. After the, the shapes are done. I can hear it just pulls out as if it's like little seaweeds or little strands. A little lacing coming out on it. And sometimes it'll pull away the, the paint to show what's underneath it, which obviously the black and white is either going to be black and white, but then when you're using colours, it might bring out colour that you didn't realise is actually underneath it, which is quite nice. And that's that, black and white, I like it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and pull the camera off the tripod and bring it down so you can get a better look. Um, I have a tendency to push the wrong button, so uh, as a lot of people will say, but you never know. Uh, it might flick off, if it flicks off, I'm really sorry. Um, and I'll put the pictures up on Facebook, on my Facebook page, Don Gregor Art, and the Facebook pages that I use. Um, Across media um, so that's that one thing I will say um, it's a really tough time at the moment for the royal family and I think it's crucial that you know I wish them well I hope they're okay um, I know a lot of you are in America and probably don't appreciate but um, it's one of these things that you either love them or hate them and I love them you know, as part of the forces um, and it's a tough time for them so I wish her well and a family let me just get this down Okay, excuse me, yes. So. Sometimes less is more. And I really like this. I am one for colour. I love my colour. Um, but I think this has come out really nice. Hope you like it. Um, hope you've enjoyed watching it. Um, any questions, just obviously ask. Um, do look at that consistency video, um, have a go, give me your thoughts on what it's turned out um, and I wish you well, have a nice weekend, hope you're all safe and I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.